So let's take a look at the actual editors. The first one I want to talk about is Photo Impact. This is sort of like a Swiss Army tool photo editing program. And it's especially strong when it comes to other graphics, putting textures on graphics, even putting texture on text, that sort of thing. So it's great if you're doing a lot of web graphics. It also is good to make DVD menus, especially if you use some of the other Corel products, um, which, which are video type products. It's a wonderful program and I found it very powerful. And the other thing that's kind of cool about it is they've tried to simplify the interface. So instead of using tons of knobs and levers and, and different things to adjust your photos, they tend to rely more on simple tools and things like little icons that you could press. Now this might be great if you're starting out. You might not like it if you've used other photo editors and you're used to their format. The other thing about this particular program that was a little annoying is they tend to put their tools in odd places, so you have to hunt around for them. And I, it took me a while to even find simple tools like how do you rotate an image, for instance. Now, all that stuff is there, but you just have to find it in different places. And, and this program might do it in the, the different tools in a slightly different way. The other thing that I found about this program that was a little annoying is that it did tend to crash a little more than the other programs. Most of those crashes were just the do not respond and after 30 seconds the program would come back online. But I did have one crash where it totally froze and I lost my image. All, all in all, great program. The next program I want to talk about is Serif Photo Plus. Now, unfortunately, the copy that I had of this program was the version 11, and they're now on version 13. Hey, it's what I had, so that's what I use. But I did look at the manual for version 13, and there are some exciting new features. I would say this is sort of the plain Jane, or the Susan Boyle of the photo editors. When you first open it up, it doesn't look very classy. It looks kind of a little homemade. The icons look a little crude, and you think, oh, what's this? but it has incredibly powerful algorithms in it. And really, once you get past the interface and you realize that it's really elegantly simple, you really can take off with this program. In fact, I think it has some of the best photo effects of any of these three programs, So, especially some of the artistic effects. They're just outstanding um, in this particular program. I found that in all ways, it, it, it did very, very well. The new version, which I did not have access to, has some video tutorials, which I hear are very good, too. So those are very helpful. And all in all, I like this program. It never crashed once on me, which I think is a real statement of its stability and its usability. The last program that I want to talk about is PaintShop Pro. This is that JASP program that used to be called the Poor Man's Photoshop. It was bought by Corel a few years ago, and they really have done just an outstanding job updating the interface and making it more and more user-friendly. When you open this program up, you have this beautiful graphic kind of dark interface that really makes your photos stand out when you're editing them. In addition, there are so many useful help features. When you touch on a tool, a panel opens up and tells you how to use that tool. There's great in program help and there are wonderful video tutorials over three hours on the DVD that comes with the program there's also some excellent excellent online photo or video tutorials at Corel's website all in all just an outstanding wonderful program um, if I had any complaints about this program I would say that number one the icons are a little bit small especially for aging eyes kind of a minor complaint it did crash on me a couple of times, but these were always these uh, mini crashes where the program would go white for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, that sort of thing, and it would come back online, and that's uh, a good thing. So it really wasn't too much of a problem. They have a lot of integrated tools on this program. They have a really nice integrated photo organizer that has its own editor built in, and it's nice because it's right there, and it comes with tons of extra as does Photo Impact, because Corel's really trying to push these products and they're giving you a lot of programs. They cost more than what you're paying for just the photo editor. So check out these programs. I think you'll find them all very useful, very, very nice. Well, there you have it. Three great programs that should meet the needs of virtually all hobbyists and most professionals. These are wonderful programs that are outstanding values. Well, if you have one of these programs, should you change to a different one? That's sort of up to you, but in most cases, I would say no. Even though these programs have different capabilities as far as their tools go, you can always kind of 
find a different tool that will do the same thing in a different program. However, there may, may be some cases where you find that one program has something that's so compelling that you want to upgrade. So for instance, Photo Impact has very strong drawing tools and web-based tools. So if that's very important to you, you might want to change to that program. Photo Plus can save and create files in true um, in true Photoshop format with the layers and things like that. Now there's never 100% compatibility when you go from one program to another, but it might be similar enough for you that you want to make the upgrade. And PaintShop Pro can work in the CMYK color space, something that's necessary for professional printing in many instances. So that might be a reason to upgrade to that program. So anyways, I'd say if you're tired of that software that came with your camera, if you want to take your photography to the next level, improve bad photos, do extra special things with your photos, consider one of these programs.